Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back for round three of OLT. We are back today with uh, quite an interesting team that my friend Dom actually passed me. It's a really powerful team actually. Uh, it's got um, Zard Y on there, Bandit Tyranitar, Sandrush Drill with Air Balloon, which comes in handy sometimes. Uh, we got a Defensive Rotom, Sub Punch, Toxic Heal, um, Breloom, which ca catches so many people off guard. It's so good. And uh, this was originally a Gliscor over here, but I actually decided to switch it out for a Zelf because Gliscor wasn't doing anything and it was giving me an extra ice weakness for no reason. So I was just like, you know what? Uh, let me just swap it out for another Stealth Rocker that can kind of do the same thing. And this actually works out a lot better because um, it gives me... I don't have U-Turn on this set, and I probably should, but I'll, uh, I'll think about it because it's good for uh, Mega Sableye to get me into Charizard Y. Uh, I, I currently have, actually, you know what, we're going to change it right away because Hidden Power Ice actually isn't doing anything on here. Uh, so I'm just going to swap this out for U-Turn. Some uh, on-the-spot swapping of moves. Uh, we got Psychic, U-Turn, Stealth Rocks, and Protect. Why do I have Protect on a Sash as Elf? Because Fake Out from Mega Medicham and from Lopany is, like, way too common. Uh, as a lead against me, uh, especially when they see an Azelf. So I protect on turn one if it's Lopany, I go for the Psychic. If it's Metacham, I go for the U-turn and I go into an appropriate switch. Not that there really is any for Metacham, or I can just Psychic to weaken it, which is really good for the rest of the members on the team, especially Excadrill, because it means that it can knock it out from whatever range I leave it at. So uh, I originally had Shadow Ball on here for it, for uh, Mega Metacham, but decided to swap it up for Hidden Power Ice because Shadow Ball was never coming in handy. And now we're going to go with U-Turn because it's uh, it's a very nice uh, Volt Turn core with Rotom into Charizard Y. So obviously Excadrill has Spin because it supports uh, Charizard and a couple of other members. So uh, we're going to hop into a game. It's really, really late when I'm uh, recording this, so I might not get any games right away. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you guys something. When you open the Inspect Element on, uh, on a page, it shifts everything over to the left. So now you guys can actually see uh, my entire calc instead of having it cut off. So... Uh, this is going to be nice to see. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we're going to jump into a game. Hopefully we can find one rather quickly. If not, if it takes like 10 seconds or so, I'm just going to pause it and uh, we'll uh, we'll come back when we get one. But we actually do get one right away, which is nice against somebody else that is laddering. Very nice. And right off the bat, I see that this guy loses to Breloom. Like, immediately. So... Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to see how much work Breloom is going to put in. Hopefully I, I won't eat my words, but... Uh, I'm actually just going to lead with... Um, with Breloom, honestly, it has an amazing matchup, turn one. As you can see, he has Deancey, he doesn't want to get bullet seeded, right? So I'm just going to go for sub, as he's actually going to switch out into Ferrothorn, which is amazing. And now we get a free focus punch off. So, something's dying, and if uh, he switches in his Jellicent, I can just bullet seed it after. So, here comes the focus punch, goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if the, uh, if the crit mattered, I don't think it does. Uh, I can calc that in front of you guys, and you guys can see the whole calc now, so this is fun. Breloom... Uh, OU Technician Attacker without the Life Orb, let's just say Adamant, because I think that's what we are. Uh, give me Focus Punch over Mock Punch. Uh, Focus Punch, and let's do Pharaoh, Thorn, OU Utility. Uh, Focus Punch does 102 min, so yeah. Uh, we have a T-Tar for the Slotios, so I'm not too scared of it. Uh, I can go for a Surf, but whatever. Uh, he goes uh, for a Draco, drops it. Uh, lowers his uh, special attack. I'm gonna go for Pursuit. The next one actually misses, so that's very unfortunate. Um, by the way, uh, my opponent said, of course. I just want to show him that uh, Breloom automatically knocks out um, Pharaoh, by the way. Uh, he goes for... Uh, he goes into Deancey here. Uh, I don't really have a countermeasure to Deancey other than going into Drill. So I'm going to... Uh, to yeah, switch out into Drill. I think that's fine, actually. Uh, max defense, by the way. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, the roll is still in my favor. Uh, even if you're max defense, like, let me just see 252. Uh, focus punch does 90 to 107. Okay, so the, the roll isn't in my favor, but anyway, if he's max defense, he's bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. He's just, he's just bad. Uh, he goes for a moon blast. He breaks my balloon. That's perfectly fine. I'm actually, I really want to predict the Skarmory to come in and just go into Charizard and nuke something with a flamethrower. Um... But I don't know if I'm, uh, I necessarily need to do that. Um, it'd be nice to get in Zard before the Skarmory sets up rocks, but I can just do that after. So let me actually make the middle ground play of going into Rotom. If he wants to Earth Power me, it won't do anything. He actually goes for the Protect, which is nice. And uh, I'm actually just going to Volt Switch on this thing. It's perfectly fine. He goes into his Hydreigon, which is great, actually, because now I get a Volt Switch off into my Azelf as the Sand ends. And uh, we'll be able to get off a U-turn and see if he's Scarfed as well at the same time. So... 
This is nice. He goes for his own U-turn. That does not uh, bring us down to Sash at all. Uh, he's going to bring in his Deancey, which is cool. I'm going to go for the U-turn. And this is going to propel me right back out into Rotom. And uh, once again, I think I'm just going to actually Hydro Pump on this turn because I don't really have a reason not to. Uh, if he goes into Hydreigon, he's just letting it get weakened at this point. So, takes 22%, that's fine. Um, do I have a sack to this? Uh, I mean, he could just go for U-turn again. I don't think Dark Pulse takes me out. Definitely not, but Draco might, uh, depending on this Hydreigon. We know it's Scarfed, so let's see Hydreigon, Choice Scarf versus uh, Rotom Wash, Defensive. I'm not sure about this Calc, actually. Uh, no, Draco never takes us out, so I can actually just Volt on this thing. Goes to the Draco, does 63%, that's absolutely nothing. We're gonna go for the Volt Switch. And now we get to go out into... Into what? Um, Azelf isn't bad. I could just throw out a Psychic trying to catch the Deancey, which is good. Um, alternatively, Zardex isn't bad either. Everything's pretty good here, actually. I'm just gonna go Azelf. And uh, if he wants to Draco again, that's perfectly fine, but I'm actually just gonna throw out a Psychic right here, try to catch the Deancey. As this time he he tried to predict my rocks last time. Let's see if he does it again. If he does, he's gonna get punished for it because this will be a two-hit KO on Deancey. Uh, I believe it does like 60%. He does decide to just Draco again, which is fine. Because now actually my Breloom comes in and gets up a sub again. So um, I'm pretty sure like minus four Draco Meteor does not destroy me, right? Breloom, technician attacker. Yeah, it does only 40 to 47, so. Uh, I could also just Focus Punch here, and I think that's what I'm going to do, uh, as he actually switches out, awesome, and he goes into Jellicent, which is cool. Uh, this thing can't really touch me outside of Hex, so I'm just going to Bullet Seed. Uh, that does 33, 34, gets 3 hits, awesome, able to knock out the Jellicent, and now our Breloom is back up to full. Uh, as Deancey comes back in, I think at this point, um, what's my play here? Do I just sack Titar? I might just sack Titar. Uh, and then bring in Driller, and then what? And then double into Charizard, predicting this. But then, like, how do I beat this once Sand expires? That's the problem that I'm faced with right here. Uh, I should have just damaged this earlier with Psychic instead of going for U-turn. Probably. Um, do I need Breloom for anything? Zardex handles the rest of his team plus Driller, right? So I think I just let Breloom go down here. I'm just going to go for the Bullet Seed. The Moon Blast is easily going to be able to take me out. And now... Now, 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 now... Uh, now we have to go into Titar. I should have just sacked Titar, honestly, because now I'm going to have to sack it anyway. Uh, alternatively, I could just sack Rotom here, which is good. So I'm going to do that instead. Uh, as he does go for the Moon Blast. Awesome. We're going to go into Driller. And now I have to make a play. I actually have to double into my Charizard on the Skarmory. And then just fire off a Flamethrower. He should switch. Yeah. All right. He does. Good. And uh, we're just going to go for the flamethrower right here. It should be able to knock out uh, Hydreigon, I believe. If not, it's very, very close. Uh, as we do knock out the Hydreigon. Awesome. And uh, now he goes into Deancey. All right. Here's the problem. <laughs> Driller cannot handle Skarmory on its own. So I pretty much have to play off of a Diamond Storm miss here. Actually, no. I have to go into Titar, I believe. Yeah, I have to sack off Titar. This is my play. Uh, he goes for the Diamond Storm. He's able to knock us out. I have to go into Driller. Now, see, the problem is I get up Sun with Zard Y. This is the conflict that I have right here. So, basically, I have to... I have to hope he doesn't have Earth Power, like... Or, or Hidden Power Fire. There's, there's no chance. There's no chance, right? So, I have to play off a miss with Zard Y. Um... I don't know, man. I don't know either. That was a bad play. Twas a bad play. He's saying, why did you sack Loom? Yeah. It was my win con, but then again, it couldn't beat DNC either. Anyway, so we'll see here. We'll see here what my opponent decides to do. He does switch into Skarmory. I think I went for Rock Slide. Yep. All right, cool. That does 17%. That's, that's great damage right there. Uh, we're going to go directly into Zard here. And um, he's going to go for spikes. That's fine. Uh, I just go for flamethrower right here. If he switches out into the anti, Yeah, okay, good. He, like, couldn't switch there. I have to play off of a miss. That's my only way to win. I just have to go for beam. Hope he misses uh, diamond storm. He doesn't. He connects. 
and that is going to be a loss, unfortunately, unless he doesn't have anything to hit us with. Like, what if his last move is like something weird, like Stealth Rocks? Because, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be that game, so that's very unfortunate. Uh, before that game, actually, I'll just show you guys. Uh, I'm right here on the ladder. Uh, where am I? There I am, 231. Now I just moved down a little bit, but... Oh, yeah, I'm assuming you guys heard that. An alarm just went off in my house. Sorry about that. Uh, this is yet another team that Zardwai absolutely obliterates. So, um, let's lead off with Zelf. It's my best lead overall. He leads with Rachi. I'm going to uh, hard into Rotom because I think this thing is scarfed. As he does go for a body slam. Excuse me, body slam, actually. Uh, it doesn't get the uh, pair. Well, you can't pair an electric type, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Volt here as he switches out into a Seismitoad, which I could have burned, but all right. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Actually, Breloom is perfectly safe. He's not going to Scald here. If anything, he's Toxicking, right? Or setting up rocks. So, this is pretty much safe. Uh, and I don't think any move he carries can knock out my sub. Ah, uh, he knocks off our Toxic Orb. That sucks. All right, well, um, I'm just going to go for a Spore here as he goes into Zard. Cool. Awesome. Uh, now I get off a free Focus Punch. That really sucks, man. Why did you go for Knock? Uh, he swaps out into a Zapdos to take a Focus Punch, so this is going to hurt. Uh, that does 42%, as you can see. And uh, did we see Pressure? Yes, we did. Okay, so we, we don't ever have to worry about this thing staticking us, which is nice. Uh, he's probably just going to go for the Heat Wave here. I'm going to go into Titar. Uh, covers pretty much any move he wants to go for. Uh, does go for the T-Bolt, does a little bit of damage. Now it's a 50-50 of whether he's going to switch out or not. Uh, I'm going to call the switch out, and I'm going to go for Pursuit as he actually stays in and T-Bolts. Uh, that does a good amount, though. And uh, this is going to allow me to uh, bring in a Zelf, actually. Well, not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, let's go into Driller. Because I think Driller does a tremendous amount of damage to this thing with a, uh, with a Rock Slide. So he has to be very careful. Uh, as a result, I think I'm going to double into Rotom here on this turn, just in case uh, he does Heat Wave. He doesn't? Okay, he goes into Slowbro. This is what I was expecting. Uh, I'm just going to Wisp this, because I would love to get some residual damage on it. And uh, he just goes into Seismitoad anyway, so he gets that thing burned, which is nice. Uh, normally, I can't touch this thing, which means I have to switch out. Uh, I'm going to go into Breloom again, actually, because I don't lose anything. Uh, as he goes for Refresh. Okay, good play. And uh, now I think I go for a substitute as he switches out into Slowbro. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, on my Bullet Seed for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to go for it here. It's going to do 18, 17, 20. We get three hits. That's nice. He goes for Skull. Does break our sub. And I'm going to go for a Focus Punch here, predicting his switch out as he does swap out back into his Zapdos. Uh, we're going to go for the Focus Punch. Get off another 36%. Keep this thing low. And now we go into Titar as uh, he goes for a hidden power, I don't know what. And he stayed in last time, I don't know if he's going to do that again, uh, but I'm just going to go for the crunch this time. As he actually swaps out into his Seismitoad, that's good, we're able to get off a lot of damage on that thing. Uh, I'm not going to be able to knock it out though, so I am just going to switch out into Breloom. Can't believe you brought Refresh knockoff Seismitoad, that's kind of cool. Uh, he is at 51% with his uh, with his Zapdos, so I'm just going to Bullet Seed on this turn. Uh, as he does switch out into Zapdos, that's perfectly fine. Just going to go for the Seeds again. He's conditioned me not to Pursuit him, so I'm, I think I'm going to actually do it this turn. Um, the thing is, my T-Tar is running out of switch-ins. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Uh, this is actually a good time for his Elf to come in, I think. Uh, as he goes for a T-Bolt, that's fine. I'm just going to go for the uh, for the Stealth Rocks here. He should have Defog as his last move. He goes for Thunderbolt. Okay. Um, Zard Y should be able to outspeed this and knock it out with a Flamethrower. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go for the Flamethrower here. He doesn't really have a good switch in. He goes into Slowbro. That's fine. I'm just going to throw off a Flamethrower. This should do a lot in the sun. Uh, it does over the amount that I needed it to. And we actually need to score a burn right there. Uh, I'm going to go for another one here. I think I know this guy. I'm not sure though. Uh, he goes into Seismitoad, that's absolutely fine. This is 2-hit KO'd by Flamethrower as well. He does not have a switch into Flamethrower at all on his entire team. Like, everything dies and his Zard is, um, his Zard is asleep. He let it go to sleep, so... He should go into, uh, Clefable in theory here, because I don't Oko it. Uh, he's actually not Magic Guard, he's unaware, which is nice. Um... 
Yeah, I think he just thunder waves here, right? So, let's go into drill. I lose absolutely nothing by going into Excadrill. He goes for a heal bell to wake up his Charizard, okay. Good play, I guess. Uh, his Slowbro is no longer burned either, but this is okay because I still knock out Slowbro with an Earthquake and Iron Head combination because he's not lefties. And um, I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide here. And uh, that does 31, so that's a good amount of damage. He actually goes for a Wish. I'm going to prevent the Zapdos from coming in. If he wants to go into Slowbro, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That, I don't mind. I just don't want the Zapdos coming in for free, basically. Uh, I'm just going to go into Breloom here. Going to risk the burn. That's absolutely fine. Uh, as he actually doubles out into his Zapdos, so good play there. And uh, we don't have our Stealth Rocker anymore, which means uh, he's getting rid of rocks, but I'm getting a kill with Zard, so. Uh, let's see if that's actually what he goes for. He goes for Defog. Okay, good. And uh, now we go for the Flamethrower again, and we get another kill. Um, his Slowbro is healthy enough to take this, because it's at full, uh, actually. Uh, we get another burn on it. That's crazy. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, I'm just going to throw out a beam here. Uh, as he goes into Zard, so good play. Uh, I'm assuming this is Zard X. So I'm just going to go straight into Rotom on this thing. And uh, then we'll Volt Switch out if it DDs. Uh, he goes for a Flare Blitz, though. In the Sun, that did a lot. Wow. Um, that's not a two-hit KO, though, so I can just go for a Volt Switch here. He goes for a Will-O-Wisp. That's awesome. Gonna get off this Volt Switch. That tells me he's defensive. Uh, so defensive Zard X. Do you run any speed? <laughs> I have to check this. Uh, bulky Will-O-Wisp set uh, runs 276. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? It's just enough to outspeed Excadrill. Uh, gonna go into Titar here. Uh, his Flare Blitz probably doesn't knock me out. He can just Wisp here, though. Um, which is why I'm really tempted to just Edge, actually. Yeah, I think Edge is my play. Goes for an EQ. Okay, so that's good, too. Um, now I go into Driller. Now that I know my Zard Y outspeeds his Zard X, I can just Focus Blast it later. As he should not stay in here. He should, in theory, go into... Uh, Slowbro. I, I have no reason not to Earthquake, though. He goes into Zapdos. That's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna Quake again. No, I'm gonna Rock Slide again. I'm gonna Rock Slide again. Like, last time he switched into Slowbro. Come on, you can't just keep making the same plays. I actually miss Rock Slide, so that sucks. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna Quake this thing. I'm just gonna lower it even further. He goes for a Skull. Does he get the burn? He does not. Awesome. And now we knock something out with a Rock Slide. Or do I just go for another Quake? I'm just going to go for another Quake and knock out this Slowbro. That's fine. I guess its only job was to wall drill and it did that just fine. Uh, he goes into Zard. This is going to pick up a kill on this turn. I want that kill to be Breloom. He should attack me. Yeah, okay, good. Um, and he should attack me again. So let's go for Spore. He goes for Earthquake. All right. And we know that our Zard Y outspeeds him, so I could just go for Focus Blast. Uh, his Jirachi doesn't seem to be Scarfed because he went for Body Slam. Let's go into Zard Y. We still have Rotom 2 for that thing, so it's not a big deal. Uh, and I'm just going to go for uh, Focus Blast. It should be able to take this thing out. He actually is speed tying with us. Uh, that does 61% though, so that's good. That's very good damage. We win the second speed tie and we knock out his Zard Y. Awesome. And he forfeits. Okay, well, that game still wasn't technically lost. Um, unless his Jirachi is not not actually scarfed and it's like really slow, uh, then it's definitely lost. Uh, we get <laughs> we get Cameron. We played uh, we played Aberforth uh, for the NPL. If you guys missed that match, it was the uh, the first match that I played for Rob in the uh, in the NPL. Definitely go check that out a little bit earlier in the channel. But uh, have fun again. We actually ran into each other uh, on the ladder earlier. Um, this time, last time he led with um, what did he lead with? I think he led with Landorus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know how crucial rocks are against him. So I'm just going to lead with his elf as he leads with Lando. Okay. And I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to protect, actually. No, this thing is rocks. I'm going to psychic as he goes into Titar. Okay. That's a good. That's a great play. That's amazing. Um, are we faster? No, we're not. Alright, so something's dying here. Probably his elf. Gonna go for rocks. He goes for pursuit. Gets a crit. Knocks me out. That's fine. Uh, I get to go into Breloom now and uh, get off a spore on something. 
Or I might just want to focus punch. No, I'm going to spore. He goes for pursuit, lets his T-Tar go to sleep, which is a great play on Cameron's part. I'm going to sub up as he goes into Lando. This is good, as we will be getting health back, slowly but surely. Going to go for a Bullet Seed as he gets up Stealth Rocks. That's fine. Uh, last time I won with what? Uh, with Zard, I think. Just spamming Fire Bla uh, Flamethrower, excuse me. I'm gonna go for Bullet Seed again. He goes for Earthquake, knocks out my sub. If that's the strongest move he has to hit me with, uh, that's a not very effective move. So we get five hits on the um, on the Bullet Seed, which is nice. As uh, do I want to switch into Rotom? Not really. Yeah, I'm just gonna see uh, Bullet Seed again. Let Berloom get a little bit weakened. It's okay. As uh, now he should go. I know that his Scallopede is actually slow. It's it's not a fast Scallopede. Because I outsped it with my Zard Y before its speed boost. So it's actually really, really slow. I think he might be adamant, but he is, uh, I do know that he's Life Orb. So I'm just going to go into Rotom here. Uh, he should Mega Horn in theory. Uh, he actually goes for Swords Dance, so that's an even better play. Uh, but I don't think he knocks me out with anything. So I'm just going to go for the Wisp. He goes, okay, never mind. This is stronger than I expected. I'm um, going to go into Titar on this turn. Um, I got to play off of a Mega Horn miss, I guess. Let's go for Crunch. He lands it. All right, he gets two in a row. Uh, let's see. I don't think he has anything for Drill, actually. We will see, but I'm not. Uh, actually, no, we're on a Balloon. He has absolutely nothing for us. I can just go for an Iron Head here. He goes for the Mega Horn. Okay, whoa, that knocks me out. That's That's a resisted hit. Is, is this for real? Wow, all right. Um, yeah, that's that's GG. He, he played that amazingly. I couldn't do anything to that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> He's like, did that Excadrill just die? <laughs> GG, man. All right, so uh, that's another loss, <laughs> unfortunately. He already knew the team and stuff. Like, he played around it perfectly. Um, this is Breloom lead. This is Breloom lead. Absolutely. I just go for sub here. I don't know if this guy's been watching my games, but, uh, he goes for protect. Yep. As I sub, there we go. And now I get a kill with, um, with focus punch pretty much. He goes for a swap out into the, uh, the Lanaris. That's absolutely fine. Gonna get off a of focus punch on this thing. I'm uh, going to take Rocky Helmet, which means I can put it to sleep, and he is slower than me. I go for Bullet Seed here as he goes into Talonflame, absolutely fine, uh, as I can just, um, I can Focus Punch this thing once again. Like, the only thing he can do is break my sub with Brave Bird, that's fine. And I want, I really want to make a prediction that he won't Brave Bird on this turn, because my T-Tar can come in. It's like impending doom. Um, I'm going to go into to Rotom, actually. And uh, he goes for the Wisp. Awesome. Okay. So I'm, I'm really glad I didn't go into T-Tar there. Because then I would have been hard-walled. Um, just going to go for the Volt Switch here. As he goes for the Roost. Okay. So that's a good play. And uh, we're going to go into... Into... Uh, into what? Tyranitar? Yeah, I'm going to go into T-Tar. And uh, even if he burns me, I still knock him out with an Edge. So he has to be aware of that. Uh, so he's going to switch out into... Wait, what? Okay, so I don't know why that was the sack. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go into Zard because that that actually did a lot to my team because it's really really slow outside of the sand. Like if that thing was max speed, it was destroying me. Uh, he actually chooses to double into Deancey. That's a very good play, except that he has to go for a Diamond Storm here. So I just go into Driller. He should anyway. Um, he does go for the Moon Blast. Okay, so I would have been able to knock him out there with a, a Solar Beam, but that's okay. Uh, and now he should go into Ferrothorn. So I'm going to double back into Zard. Come on, double. Go, 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 go. Good. Awesome. All right, he goes into Lando, actually. This is just as good. I uh, get off a Flamethrower here. As he goes into Talonflame, this is not going to take this well. Not at all. Yep. <laughs> that did uh, quite a bit of damage. And uh, I don't really have anything to touch this thing with. So I have to go Rotom. And uh, he knows that he can Roost on me, like, infinitely. Except, now he's at full. So now he takes super effective damage from this Volt Switch. So I think he has to switch out. As he does, he goes into the Lando. Okay. He's going to try to wake this thing up, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to go for the pump. Uh, as it does stay asleep, this is going to take half or over half of what it had left. And the next pump should be able to do it. 
Uh, he does go into Ferrothorn though, and I'm just going to Volt Switch out of here. It's perfectly fine. I can pain split if he if he wants to keep doing this. Like at some point, I'm gonna predict him. Um, now pretty much. Well, I mean, he still has the talent flame. That's the problem. I need my rocks up, except he's not gonna let me do that with the NC round. I'm gonna go to Zard. Yeah, he goes for a whip. That's fine. As uh, now, I should predict the Talon Flame and go into Titar. Yep, I'm gonna go into Titar. As he does go into Flame, and now I'm just going to Pursuit. <laughs> Good play. He goes for the Wisp. Okay. All right. I see you. Um, Driller's safe, I think. He shouldn't Wisp again. Yeah, okay, good. We catch the Deancey, that's good. And uh, he's gonna be forced to switch out here. Which is what I'm gonna take as my opportunity to go back into Breloom at this point, I think. Yeah, because now, is something still asleep? Yeah, his Landorus is still asleep. Okay, hold on a second, I have to think about this play. I think I just go for EQ and damage the Ferrothorn. That should be his play as into Ferrothorn. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so we get off 38% on that. That's not bad at all. Uh, I'm actually just going to go for another EQ uh, and bring this thing down to 24. He misses Whip, which is really unfortunate for him. And I really want to Iron Head here, but I think my best play is just to go into Zard. Yeah, I'm going to go into Zard as he decides to uh, go into Landorus. Absolutely. And now I'm going to... Man, that Talon Flame is an issue. I need rocks up. I need rocks up 100%. His Talon Flame is still way too high in health. Um, damn. What do I do? I think I go Titar, right? Yeah, I go Titar. All right, that's fine. Go Titar as he goes Talon Flame. Okay, he goes Deancey to take a hit. Surprisingly enough. Um, I got back up my Sand, which is nice. Probably going to Rotom here. Then again, like Rotom destroys his team at this point. I just need to get rid of this Deancey or the Talon Flame, one or the other. It really doesn't matter which one. I think Breloom is useless at this point. I can just let it go down to a Moonblast. That's fine. And uh, now, now we go into Driller, and he doesn't have a good switch anymore to this thing. Absolutely not. I'm just going to go for the Iron Head at this point. As he does go into Landorus, and he's going to let this thing drop. No, he's not. He's going to go into uh, into Ferrothorn, okay. As I go for a Rock Slide. And I really want to Iron Head on this turn, but I think Earthquake is my safest play by far. As I fail to knock him out, and he goes for a Whip, and he leaves us at 1%. Whew! Alright. Um, damn, that's scary. I gotta keep this thing alive. I know that this thing is Rocky Helmet. Um, yeah, I gotta go back into Titar now. As he goes for the switch into Talonflame. Awesome. Alright. And uh, pretty much anything dies to edge at this point. Well, not anything. Like his Starmie tanks because I'm burned. Uh, his uh, Lando definitely tanks. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go for edge regardless. He lets his Deancey take 57%. Amazing. Okay, so now I can't switch in on uh, on flamethrower anymore, which is awesome. I think I still need driller Despite it being at 1% like I, th I think it still does does a lot of work right here as I can just like rock slide everything his talent flame knocks me out at this point um, But talent doesn't win on its own because I still have his elf and I can just set up rocks now This is complicated. How do I do this? I think I need to keep Rotom. What don't I need? Uh, Zard if that thing is... Mm. Thing is, I can't go Zard because of the, the weather again. Damn. I think I just edge again. Do I really let my weather expire? Because, like... Alright, realistically, what is Drill good for? Because, like, everything knocks out Deancey anyway. And by everything, I mean his elf. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I think I just let Driller go down. I lived on 0.6%. That's literally like 2 HP. Alright, we got two turns left. 
I can easily go into his elf here and just throw off a psychic um, if I want to. He might predict that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway though. It doesn't matter. And like, if I catch his Deancey once I get up rocks, you know? And his answer to get rid of rocks is to spin them. I don't know if this is winnable at this point because I let, I let a lot of things get burned uh, needlessly. He's gonna sack off his sleeping Landorus, that's fine. He breaks my sash, which is very unfortunate. Uh, well, the sand breaks my sash. I knew that was gonna happen. I couldn't go for rocks there. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, brings in Talon Flame. I don't know if this thing knocks me out clean. Talon Flame. Offensive versus um, Azelf Suicide Lead. It doesn't, actually. Is that really something I want to play around with right now, though? Hmm. Nah, I can just go into Rotom. This is safe. You go- okay. Alright. That's fair. Um, except that I get to go for Hydro Pump right here. He brings in Ferrothorn. This is gonna die. Yeah. Okay, that's dead. Now what do I do? Guys, help me out here. What do I do? <laughs> I think I need Rotom to beat everything. So I need to go into... Yeah, Zard does nothing else. Zard literally does nothing else. I can just go into it here. He can Moonblast me twice, or Diamond Storm me. If he misses the Diamond Storm, that'd be amazing, but no. Uh, just gonna go into his Elf now. I'm just going to... Go for a Psychic, honestly, because Sand's not up. He goes into Talonflame, that takes 43%. Wow. And... I am just gonna get up rocks at this point. He goes for a roost. Awesome. Okay, so he lets me get up rocks. That's really good. Okay. Um. What do I do here? I'm going to Rotom. Because Sun's about to expire. As he goes for Brave Bird, that's only gonna do 15 to me. That's amazing. Because now I get off a super effective Volt Switch on him. Uh, he can't go into Deancey, it dies. He can't go into Starmie, it takes a tremendous amount. It puts it in Psychic range. Depending on its set, of course. Uh, but it definitely puts it in U-turn range. So, now that the rocks are up, like, I'm in I'm in a favorable position. Uh, he does go into Starmie. This is going to take a lot of damage from this. It takes 63%. Now I have to play with a speed tie right here. I have to go for the U-turn. Uh, if he goes for the spin, that's fine. He does put me in Brave Bird range, but I don't know if he's, like, max attack. Like, this is calculated with Jolly Max attack. If he has, like, no attack investment, his Brave Bird doesn't knock me out. It does 71. So, this is a, a speed tie right here. If I win this speed tie, I can definitely win. Because his Talon Flame now takes 50% when it comes in. And his Elf is faster. Okay, he leaves. What? Dude, don't leave. Okay, he's back. Alright. <laughs> he has, uh... No? Does he? Okay, yeah, he wins the speed tie, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to get that U-turn off. I have to sack Titar here to the, uh, to the Deancey. He only knocks me out with his Talon Flame if he's max attack. That's the only way. But again, his Talon Flame is at max health. Like, yeah. Okay. So, how do I win this? Okay, he leaves again. I'm I'm turning on mod join. This is getting annoying. Mod join on. Like seriously. If I can get the win for this, that's fine. But this is like this is not the last bat kind of battle I want in a um, in a live, guys. Not for you. Not for my loyal fans. This sucks. But uh, this team is very very good. I know we got two losses, but one of them was to to Aberforth, and he like one he played amazing, and two he already knew the team. So did I, but like he, he played around it expertly, whereas I let my... Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> he trapped me with T-Tar. That was a good play. That was an amazing play. But uh, we're down to 90 seconds. I'm actually going to pause it, guys, and if he comes back, then we'll be right back at it. But if he doesn't, then uh, yeah, we'll end it there. All right, guys, so my opponent decided not to come back, as you can see. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. 
Maybe you see the uh, loss due to inactivity right there at the bottom of your screen. But anyway, uh, I don't like ending lives like this, but that's how it's going to have to be. So we pick up two wins and two losses as a result. I'm at 17.99, so let's actually check our placement on the ladder right now. Go here. I think we dropped a little bit. Um, 17.99, where is that? Nope. Oh. 17.99. Yeah, we're 188. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, that's okay. So I can definitely make um, make a OLT. I just need to keep playing right now. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Thanks again uh, for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.